Ooh. So you have hip arthritis? Yeah. Let us show you what you should do today. Prehab, welcome back to the channel, Dr. Lauren Linus. And today I am joined by my better half, literally. Let me introduce you to Dr. Lindsay Provencio, my twin sister and doctor of physical therapy. Happy to be here and chatting with you all about all things hip osteoarthritis. Now, before we get into some exercises to try for your hip osteoarthritis, let's talk through what exactly OA is and why we see it in the hip joint. Osteoarthritis can be found in many joints of the body, with the hip being one of the joints that is most commonly affected, with osteoarthritis affecting 54 million people in the United States. We see OA present most commonly in weight-bearing joints, such as the knee and hips. So before we go on, let's get a good understanding of what hip osteoarthritis is. Osteoarthritis refers to progressive deterioration of the cartilage in the hip, changes to the structure of the bone of the joint, and inflammation of the fluid found around the joint. Individuals who are dealing with osteoarthritis in the hip may experience pain and discomfort in the groin region, pain that fills deep in the joint and begins to feel better with movement. So what causes hip arthritis? That's a great question. And from what we know in the literature, it seems less of a result of repetitive movement, as some people may think, and more of a result of anatomical differences in the hip joint and how our hip sits in the socket. With all of that being said, some research has shown that increased body mass, high levels of certain types of exercise, and heavy manual labor could lead to an increased incidence and progression of hip osteoarthritis. Now, with all that being said, there is lots we can do to manage symptoms associated with hip OA. And conservative management is always recommended prior to receiving surgical intervention. So, let's show you some exercises to try. First up, mobility. Inherently, as we start to develop discomfort in an area, we wanna stop moving it. However, with hip OA, one of the best things we can do is move and introduce healthy mobility into the hip joint. As mentioned, the hip is a ball and socket joint, meaning that it has a lot of mobility. With that being said, we wanna try mobility exercises that explore these different planes of motions as demonstrated here. It's always important to respect where our body is at. And if symptoms worsen with a certain movement, back off and work through a range that is more comfortably tolerated. And if this last one feels difficult, try it on your back. Next up, strength. We already mentioned how important exercise is for the management of osteoarthritis, but studies have shown that exercise is especially important when managing hip OA. Now this includes strength training, but also aerobic activity. Spending time biking, going for a walk, spending time in the pool, all of these can serve as an integral part in regards to managing your hip arthritis. When it comes to strength, studies have looked at the effectiveness of machines, to body weight work, to isometrics, to resistance bands and weights, and all of it can be beneficial. Some of our favorite exercises for hip OA are exercises that make sense and are specific to everyday life, such as a staggered bridge. This is a useful exercise to strengthen a movement pattern that many of us use getting in and out of bed. It's a great exercise to target glutes, hamstrings, and core strength, and you can progress it by adding weight on your hips or a band around your knees to better target your lateral hip musculature. And if the staggered bridge feels like it's too much of a challenge, you can perform a traditional bridge with your feet lined up. The great thing about strength training when dealing with hip osteoarthritis or really any type of arthritis is that any sort of strength training is going to be beneficial as mentioned above. Lastly, lateral hip strength and core work. If your strength routine does not involve some sort of core work, you are missing out. Our core musculature plays an integral role in how our hip and lumbopelvic region works. A favorite to get that core work in, a side plank clam. Not only are we challenging those lateral hip muscles, but we're also working the core muscles as well. To make it harder, add a band around those knees and get planking. Okay, so let's hit you all with the major takeaways. Both aerobic and strength training exercise plays a crucial role in management of hip OA and programming for this should be a combination of both. Whether that's swimming, biking, walking, anything that does not make your symptoms worse has a thumbs up in our books. Next, make sure that your strength training involves the mobility portion. This is important to continue to encourage healthy joint mobility and maintain healthy joint mobility. After doing just a few mobility-based exercises, you may be surprised at how good that hip feels as movement encourages circulation of the healthy synovial fluid in the joint and makes it feel good. Last, don't skip on that strengthening routine. Keeping our muscles strong and active goes a long ways with maintaining that hip mobility, but also supporting your hip joint to make those everyday tasks that much easier and you that much more confidence. 
If you are looking to take the guesswork out of managing your hip away, definitely check out our hip rehab program packed with dozens of exercises, just like the ones we showed you today. And remember, you can't go wrong with being strong. Until next time, Prehab. Hey, did you like this video? If you did, you should definitely check out the Prehab app. It includes all of our programs, a brand new workout library, and tons more videos like the one you saw today. Check it out by clicking on this link. You get a free trial. Take control of your health today.